Hi folks, welcome back to BioVet. My name is Jimmy Allman. Today I'd like to show you one of the true classic automobiles of the Corvette lineage. As you all know, the bumper year cars from 1968 through 1972 earned a very special place in the history of Corvette body and styling. The cars were called bumper years simply because they had a front bumper and a rear bumper in chrome. 1968 through 72 probably had some of the highest sales of Corvettes for a short four year period than any other time. This particular 1972 matching numbers coupe is one of a little over 3,000 painted in the Targa blue color. There were over 27,000 coupes and convertibles produced in 1972, and this car also has the rare four-speed transmission of which there were only about 1,600. As you take a look at the car, the Targa blue paint, it's older paint. The camera may not pick up all of the, the qualities of the paint, but it is older paint. It does have some spider webbing in it, but uh, we would consider this a driver quality paint job. The body on the car is very straight. As you come down, the bonding strips are all in place. There doesn't appear to be any fiberglass damage on this vehicle. If you come on down the side of the car to the rear of the car, you'll see a shot of the optional luggage rack that was used back in those days to store a couple of suitcases as everybody started to trek out Route 66. Everybody will remember those days. The interior of this car is code correct with uh, blue vinyl. And I'd like to point out that there has been uh, black seat inserts placed in the car, which are not original, but do, uh, do uh, have a nice uh, look to them and uh, they could be changed back if necessary. I'd like to point out that the rubber molding, the weather stripping of this car seems to have all been replaced, including those on the T-tops. But both the A and B pillar have been replaced, the door jams, and as I said, the T-top weather stripping has been replaced as well. All of the gauges are intact in this car. It does have an aftermarket custom radio AM FM cassette if you're still using any cassettes. The car has manual windows. Again, it is the matching numbers engine, which has had some slight modifications. The modifications have probably been added to beef up horsepower a little bit. And uh, the car does have a uh, Edelbrock intake an Edelbrock carburetor and an Edelbrock Pro Mesh air filter. It has an MSD high ignition uh, coil as well. The valve covers have been changed out to chrome and the car does have headers rather than exhaust manifolds. Again, these, all of these changes are slight, they're small, and they can be changed back to original if the owner of this car did so desire. Please notice the correct rally wheels are in excellent condition. The tires, the Eagle GT2s by Goodyear, are older but are also in very good condition. I would like to point out that the chrome front and rear is in very, very, very good condition. They've either been replaced or re-chromed as they look too good to be in, in total original condition. I would like to point out also that the rear chrome bumpers are in excellent condition and again they've either been replaced or they have been re-chromed. Exactly correct with the seat inserts, the door panels, both driver and passenger, this carpet, the seat condition, Seats have been recovered. The door panels may not be original because they look newer. The top of the dash, all of these are in excellent condition. A lot of times you'll see splits and holes in the top of the dash where they've dried out, but this appears to be in almost perfect condition. Uh, remarkable for the age. The rear uh, storage compartments in the car 
are in very good shape. It appears that they perhaps have been replaced as well. So if you have any other questions about this beautiful 72 Targa Blue Corvette, please contact me. My name is Jimmy. My phone number is 404-483-4049. Please stay tuned for a test drive. We're going to fire this baby up and take it down the road.